to date has really exploited that cash cow. Outside of everything else, uh, we are Ghanaian nationals. We were born here. And as per the constitution that we all live by, if you were born here, then you have a right, as per the 1992 uh, 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 the, the Constitution uh, Act 284, that if you're of sound mind 18 years or above, uh, it's the easiest responsibility, and I'm paraphrasing, to uh, uh, provide for you uh, the circumstances and the situations to have you vote. And so since 1992, actually, we've been denied that right, because since 1992, uh, people abroad were voting at the Ghanaian missions. Uh, but and that's Roper in itself. And in uh, 2006, we put a bill towards Parliament to have that extended to all Ghanaians, because it's a right for all Ghanaians. So we don't think it's far-fetched. We don't think this uh, all the... Uh, situations that have been made up to be reasons why ROPA is a challenge, it's valid, because the work has not been done yet. If the work were done and we had a specific pathway that said this and that is what is going to take for ROPA to be implemented, then at least we will be speaking from a point of strength, of knowing the facts. The EC who has the clear mandate to put together the pathway hasn't done that in 11 years. And I cannot even see how we can even keep uh, a group of people in business uh, when they have failed to do their jobs for 11 years. And you expect the country to move forward? That's absurd. On the issue of absurdity, let me go straight to the phone and speak to Eric Japasu, who is the PRO for the EC, so he may have some answers for us. Uh, Eric, you're welcome. Thank you, Nana. Great. Eric, 11 years, uh, has it been too long? Thank you very much and good evening. Um, long or not too long will depend on the way we look at the whole <coughs> Europa came exactly some 11 years back, mm -hmm. and uh, it came with a caveat that as and when Commission thinks I'm ready to implement Europa, we'll go ahead and implement Europa. And it has been back and forth, back and forth as to now that Europa got caught, and now we have uh, an order to ensure that Europa is um, ruled out and uh, um, we get ready with the rope map in about 12 months' time. So what I would say for now is that uh, the court has given an order. It has ruled. ROPA is an um, existing law. It has been there for a very long time. And uh, it has been reinforced now by these orders of the court. And the position of the commission is that um, it has a vision. It has in mind the, the, the idea, the plan of um, um, ruling out Europa. Why am I saying that? Commission has a five-year strategic plan, which terminates in the year 2020. And one of the main objectives of that plan um, is to make sure that by 2020, Ghanaians living abroad uh, who are so qualified will have the right to vote in our election. Wow. Uh, because uh, I was trying to find out uh, something like e electoral more practices. I'm sure it came up in the judges' uh, reading that, you know, uh, you haven't even presented it to, you know, the chief justice to find out, you know, what happens if, you know, Kofi snatches a ballot box in uh, Times Square? I mean, what, what do you do? Hello? Hello, uh, Eric, I was just saying that if, if uh, somebody snatches a ballot box in Times Square, you know, how, how do you deal with it? Yeah, these are all the fine details which must go into preparing for Europa. ROPA is a very major um, electoral reform program. And you know, um, electoral reforms or electoral regulations, yes, the Electoral Commission is the arrowhead. But at the end of the day, it is always a collaborative activity involving all the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So the way forward when it comes to providing electricity, the logistics, everything, will also 
factor in the inputs which will be coming from all the major players, even including the government of Ghana. So these are be fine details, and I wouldn't want to preempt any suggestion as to how we maintain election security in Times Square or in, uh, in Cuba or maybe in Thailand or wherever we can be having the election. The, the, the other thing is, you see, uh, Erica, the, I think the EC is, is building for itself either a tradition or a culture where things that are very plain, black and white, as always have to be dragged to court and the EC being told what to do. And I can give you a series of things that the EC would always end up in court and get kicked out and not go and do your job. Is it becoming a, a tradition for the EC now? No, 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 not, not, I wouldn't say it's really a tradition. You know, Nana, ours is a nascent democracy. We are growing gradually and we are growing from strength to strength. Okay? There were times when people may not be too much aware of the possibility of sending some issues to court. Yes, it is true. Some issues have gone to court. Some have been ruled, um, um, let me put it this way, maybe in favor of EC. And in some cases, EC has been compelled to do um, what, as you put it, we are supposed to do. But that is the right way to go. The EC is created by laws. There are laws, and the laws are subject to varied interpretation. And some of the programs, too, before you roll them out, you need to build consensus around it. So it is just proper that when it gets to a point and we disagree on the interpretation of the law, our uh, people recourse to the law to get the right interpretation. Then we move, we move ahead. Uh, unfortunately, it is facing them. 